Hey, what is going on? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 Google Chrome productivity extensions. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so uh, I decided to make a video on my top 5 favorite Chrome extensions. These are specifically made um, to increase productivity while you're on Google Chrome. Google Chrome is probably the most used web browser uh, currently and so um, all the Chrome extensions that I'm going to show you today are of course free and can be accessed from the uh, Chrome Web Store. So the first one is called LastPass. LastPass is a free password manager that can store all your passwords, passport information, credit card information all in one secured under a master password and so it can autofill uh, every single credit card or password or username that you have whenever you access a website so if I open my vault as you can see I've got saved my uh, Twitter username and password and my YouTube username and password but this can be extended to almost any website on the internet so if I want to put my reddit password or my Facebook password on there every time I log in I don't have to save it onto the computer I can just save it so you, there's different sections on here as you can see here just for websites here you can add notes like Wi-Fi password memberships IDs passports stuff like that um, here you can add your credit cards and whenever you're checking out on Amazon eBay etc it will automatically fill in every single detail um, that you've got stored. The second Chrome extension on my list is called BetterNet. I've already done a video on this. So basically it allows you to change your IP address. The really good thing about it is that it's unlimited. So basically uh, here you can just select one of the two countries, US or UK, and you can hide your IP address. This can be very useful if you're gonna keep yourself secure and you don't want other people uh, spying on your internet or you wanna keep anonymous on websites or you want to do some surveys. Alternatively, you also have this VPN called TunnelBear. So this is very useful, especially if you want to hide your IP address from others, but you also want to change your country. So if you're doing some sort of survey and you need a specific uh, country to be in, or you want to visit a certain website that is blocked in your country, this is very useful in uh, doing that. The third extension on my list is called History Search. This is an advanced history search Chrome extension. Basically what it does is that not only does it compile all of your history, but it analyzes whenever you enter a website, it analyzes the words and sentences inside that website so that you can easily find it later. Another thing it does is when you Google something, it recommends the things that you've searched in the past just in case you are looking for the exact same thing. So it's up here. And for example, if in one of these websites I noticed something that I really liked or that I wanted to put in my research paper, for example, then I remember that word that I saw and then I just type the word and then it tells me, oh, subscribe was in the YouTube webpage. So then you can find your websites easily. Fourth on my list is Grammarly for Chrome, which is a spelling and grammar correction that can be implemented whenever you're typing an email on Gmail or whenever you're typing a Google Doc. This will help you out so, so much. For example, here I've just pasted a news article and as you can see, it's already starting to highlight and correct some of my, uh, some of the writing here. It says to remove some commas, um, change the spelling, for example, change the S to a Z. It also tells you when you're using passive voice and you might want to change that because it might change the target of your writing. And here on this side, you can also check for plagiarism. The last Chrome extension on this list is called Spread, and this extension will help you read much faster whenever you're reading an article or you want to read one of your own documents. All you have to do is press Command Shift V, and then it'll show up here one minute to Spread, and you just click it, and then it'll take that article. And then here you can select the words per minute and how many words at a time, and then it will show you just in this format so you can uh, read it in less than one minute or otherwise it might take you a lot longer. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. If it was, please please leave a like, comment, favorite and share. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.